Hi guys, Robbo46 here and welcome to round 8 of Robbo's Racing League on MotoGP15 on the Xbox One. This time we are at Mizano. Let's look at qualifying. It was Idyll and one racer who done exactly the same lap time. So they were first and second, but as you'll see the... Uh, game does swap them around as it has done for me in the past. Uh, I was third. I'd done a PB in qualifying so I was happy with that. Uh, Emil was fourth. Brandy Scales fifth. GSXR Matt in sixth. The Postman seventh and Biker eighth. Unfortunately um, the guys for some reason five of them decided to vote for the wrong track so the first lobby I set about to back out of because otherwise we were going to Argentina. Um, and that unfortunately meant that R. Morlang couldn't rejoin, so unfortunately he doesn't get to race. We line up on the grid. Another front row start for me. As I did say, uh, it did switch one racer and Dylan around on the grid. Um, it has done that for me in the past when I've done exactly the same time as someone. And uh, it swapped us around on the grid because it, for some reason, didn't know which order we were meant to be in. So yeah, Mizane. Here we go. Off the line, I've got a pretty decent start. Dylan bogged down a little bit, pulled a couple of wheelies. Went to the first corner, I went really deep and uh, kind of started to feel like my bike felt completely different to qualifying. And uh, I was starting to get into a whole host of problems. The rear was spinning up like a bitch. The front end felt horrible. And. Uh, yeah, the confidence that I got in qualifying had completely gone for the race. So I uh, try and move my way up to fifth place. Someone cut the corner there. So whoever that was would have had a penalty. The fifth place at the moment. Bike has had a crash already. As we tip into here, a few people going wide. In fourth place, back down to fifth. Bike has another crash. This corner's horrible because it's so easy to lose a front. Brandy Scales there in third at the moment, fighting with, I believe that is, Emil in second. Going to the fast right handers. Brandy goes really wide. That would have given him a really small penalty for that. We'll close back up again, back up to fourth. And then third momentarily. And back down to fifth. And then a crash there for the postman. Clipped the curb and down he went. Dylan actually had a crash as well. He didn't actually tell me on screen. Um, but he crashed on the first lap and uh, had some work to do. Brandy Scales and Emil were fighting just ahead. One racer was just starting to open up a nice gap. So he just set the fastest lap on the first lap. I close back up on these two. Brandy Scales clips the curb and down he goes. Now I'm all over the back of a meal. Almost had a crash air myself as the rear came round. I was really struggling with the rear for some reason. It's just, I don't know, it felt really, really weird. And you will see at some point that I uh, do start fiddling with my traction control settings to try and stop it spinning up so much there. Almost went again. Not feeling too great. I don't know what was going on with my settings because I didn't change them at all from qualifying to uh, to the race and it just felt really really weird like complete opposite of what it felt in qualifying and usually it does feel a little bit different at qualifying but not as much as what it did in this race. I was just trying not to crash. Went across the curb lucky not to crash there. In third place at the moment. There's Matt in fourth. He's almost a second behind. Another crash for Biker. And last corner. We come to finish lap two. And Racer sets the fastest lap again. Trying to close back in on Emil. But Dylan was the one who set the fastest lap. He was moved up to fourth ahead of Matt. You just see the overtake there on the screen. Just 
trying to, like I said, try and get my way up to Emil. That gap was slowly coming down up to him. And it's 1.1 to Dylan now in fourth. Still having troubles with my bike, but uh, starting to understand it a bit more. Never crash for someone. And uh, Dylan was closing in on me. That crash was for the postman in seventh place. Try and catch up to the middle again, get really wide there. 0.8 still, but 0.4 back to Dylan now, he's really closed in. There's only a matter of time before he comes past and he goes for it on the last corner. And into third he goes, so I go that back down to fourth, but getting his slipstream move back up to third and he comes back past. So the first corner he goes a little bit wide. Which compromises his turn too, so I try to come through but I go a bit too wide. He comes back past. And to here. Both close up on Emil. Good wide again. Matt is 1.8 behind in fifth. Just fiddle with my traction control there because I wanted to know what actual settings I was doing and just trying to stop the rear spinning up so much so I popped it up a bit. See if that would help during this race. And then a crash for Emil there. Too hard on the front brake, a bit too wide and down he went. So back up to third for me. Again to the quick right handers again. Emil trying to close back up on me again. Tries to come past. Both go on the curb and both pop a little wheelie. And I go too deep into the last corner and through he comes. So back down to fourth. Try and close back up on him. Good drive out of there. Then close right back up on him in here. Try to get past him, don't quite manage yet. We flick left, crash for Brandy scales a bit further back. Who was suffering from his uh, TV flicker in. Emil goes really wide, I go a bit wide as well, come back underneath. Get a slightly better drive. He goes wide there, that's where he crashed a lap before. And Brandy Scales unfortunately had to quit because of his TV flickering. So he was out of the race. Third. Dylan was 1.5 ahead. Slowly closing in on one race in first. Still got Emil right on my tail. One point eight up to Dylan now, so he's pulling away. Trying to come past again. Into the tight right handers again. One point seven, so I actually close in a little bit on a the mill there, but one point one back to 
sorry, closing on Dylan, but Emil gone back to 1.1 behind now. So he's starting to pull away from him. And a crash there for him as well. So that's his second crash. Now in third place. Quite a nice lead over a mill. 2.1 up to Dylan. I wasn't going to tell us what it was back to a mill in fourth place. It was over two seconds. Lap eight, nothing really happened much but before that. The gap was stabilised around just over two seconds uh, back to Emil. But on lap eight, I made a huge mistake. I don't even know what the hell I did. I just went really wide and of course I couldn't break otherwise I would have crashed. So I had to run it really, really wide and uh, back on track. And the gap was actually going to come down to 1.8. Which uh, also upset my rhythm as well because um, I was in a pretty good pace and... Uh, like I said, the gap had stabilised back to him. It was over two seconds. And it was only yo-yo in. Like a few tenths a sector. And lap nine. Now the penultimate lap. Five seconds up to Dylan. Who was closing on a, on one race still. But now I was thinking, do I take it easy or do I try and go still? Taking it a little bit too easy around the first few corners. I definitely completely lost my rhythm from that off track excursion, and Emil closed up half a second. Of course, I had to try and uh, get my pace back up again. That's what I was trying to do. And of course, not wanting to make a massive error in the braking zone. It was below a second now. And usually when you're catching someone, it goes below a second. You can catch them really easily after that. The tongue just crumbles. To the fast right-handers. Here's where it went horribly wrong the lap before, but managed to nail it that time. Crash for Matt, further back. 5.9 up to Dylan. Not saying what it is, back to Emil. See if it says it over the line. You just saw that faint arrow behind. See, he was getting closer. There we go. Final lap. Still not telling me what it was. But I knew that he was there or thereabouts. So last lap, I just had to go for it. Definitely uh, wasn't feeling as comfortable as I was a few laps ago before that massive moment. It was 0.8. So it hasn't actually come down that much, only a tenth in one lap. So that gave me some uh, confidence. And I uh, start to nail the corners again. Because I knew that Emil Ben Emil, he would try a desperate attempt at the last moment. 0.7. It only come down fractionally. And we're coming to fast right-handers for the final time. Keep it nice and tidy. Point six, so come down another tenth. And final corner. He went a bit wide. And then we've done it! Third place! Happy with that. So the results for the race, one racer took the win, closely followed by Dylan, who was slowly catching him in second place. I got third ahead of Emil in fourth, GSXR Matt was fifth, the postman was sixth, Biker seventh, 
Brand new scales gets eighth, um, even though he had problems and I had to disconnect. And all our more land gets ninth because he would have raced, but unfortunately he couldn't rejoin the lobby after everyone chose the wrong bloody track. So what has that done to the championship? Well, one race extends his lead again with 183 points. Dylan moves up to second place now ahead of Emil. He has 141 points, just two points ahead of Emil. In third of 139 points. I'm still in fourth of 98 points. Extended over R. Moorland in fifth of 86 points. Brandy Scales in sixth with 75 points. Bike is seventh with 62. But GSXR Matt is closed in within four points of him. In eighth place with 58 points. Moorland 97, two races. He hasn't raced now in ninth with 40 points. Postman only 2 points behind him in 10th with 38 points and Pistol in 11th with 20 points. And the second page is still exactly the same. Typical Mike is 12th with 17 points, Enjerk 13th with 16 points, I am Cyborg in 14th with 13 points, Colonel Carlos 15th with 9 points and Chandon 16th with 5 points. So 2 races left, the next race is at Phillip Island. And that will be Friday the 13th of May. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.